Hello everyone, Link's Past here, and welcome back. I'm Relian. And I'm Chris. And we're bringing to you more Skyward Sword. Skyward Sword. Last time, we got to a chest. We don't know what's in it. What do you think's in it? I'm gonna bet rupees. I'm gonna say... Hmm. It's probably going to be rupees, piece of heart, or an adventure pouch. Dang, really hedging your bets. I'm going to say it's going to be piece of heart. Adventure pouch. Rupees! You know what that means? We need to spend them. So we need to come back to this island when we know how to dive. Hmm. All right, where's that island with that guy? <clears throat> oh, you're gonna try the cutting game? Yeah. All right. Well, hopefully you fare better than I did. I use an absurd amount. I want to try. Let me try. I'm all in. Huh? Go slice. I didn't know I could spin attack. <laughs> Apparently you can. Hold up, son. You're all done. Let's count those cuts. 20. Howie. New record. Way to go, kid. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. You really brutalized that bamboo boy. Here's your prize. We got his horn. We got his horn. I am not appreciative of that uh, prize. Uh, 28. The next prize is at 28. Well, he did say to come back when we've got a longer sword. So, apparently there's an upgrade to a sword forged by the goddess. Oh, God. I think I'm fine with the item I got already. Yeah, it's definitely an interesting reward. There's another chest. You have I, to... I don't want to move this marker, because we got to go back here. Yeah, but it's after we find the diving, or some kind of diving gear. Do you think we're going to remember that? Probably not. Whatever. Got me in the right area, I think. Yep. I don't see it. It's that direction. Whee! Just fly over the tornado. I know I placed it very poorly. That's fine. 
It's close enough. We can see the target. We got bandits trying to steal my treasure. not even the chest we were after. Oh, that's a completely different chest. I didn't know. I didn't Beautiful know. aim, though. Like, excellent skydiving. I am upset that I used that fairy, though. So this is probably a mini game. Yahoo! Step right up, boy! I bet you're wondering what I'm doing here. A little. Just the answer I was looking for. What a smart little guy you are. I'm hoping to make this island a fun place where everyone can come and be happy. What's it called, you ask? Or even if you didn't ask, I call it Fun Fun Island! I'm still getting the place set up, so hopefully you'll visit again later. You might like what I you find, especially if you like fun and colors. I don't mind them. This is definitely a rupee game. Oh, 100%. 40 rupees. 50 rupees, probably. Ooh, silver. Where's the gold rupee? Where's my 300? Alright, where am I going now? Uh, you're good. Maybe that one? You're going to the right. And yeah, that's probably it. Man, I'm so upset. I was really hoping that was the... That was some great skydiving on your part. Nice. Heck Oof. yeah. There's another chest here. Yep, it's gonna take some other tricks though. <sighs> so, uh, about that seed satchel we bought. Yeah, look at it. Look at it. We've got two now. Wow, goody. Now we don't have a fairy because I'm a dumb dumb. That's fine. We'll be fine. We'll be okay. We're fine until we're not fine. I guess we're done up here. Yeah. Um, do you think we should maybe go to the pumpkin while we're up here? See if they have a task? They might. There's got to be at least one other island we can visit. Alright, boys. I'll see you later. Gonna go Listen. to... Get out of my way. <laughs> Was that pumpkin over there? Yeah. What? You have to attack it with a dash. Oh. I think. I don't care enough. It's only 20 rupees. You know, I'll remember this. If we show up to Beetle Shop, and we're 20 rupees short of getting that life medallion or something. Why would we go to Beetle if we're not... If we don't have enough for anything? 
Touche. Um, what? Oh, I thought those pumpkins were huge. <laughs> I mean, there's one huge pumpkin, but... Yeah, we slayed the chandelier. Alright, let's go see if Daddy O needs uh, any help. Oh, well, also, we forgot about the child. Yeah, we need to find that child, I think. <laughs> Ah, uh, still thinking. Still thinking. Might as well buy some pumpkin soup. How much? That's so much. <laughs> Does that go towards my debt? Ooh, we can talk to that guy. Ah, uh, you have global- what? You have a gullible, that gullible look that says you might take an old man's rambling seriously. So tell me, do you believe in Skyloft Monster? I shouldn't even call it a monster, it's a demon, I tell you. But no one can say for sure because no one's seen it. Wow. You want to know how come I'm telling the tale if nobody has lived to see it? Is that it? Yeah, sure. Well, I saw it. But I was able to escape from the, by the seat of my pants. It was saved by my cat-like reflexes, I tell you. Any regular person would have lived long enough to scream. Wouldn't have lived long enough to scream. Anyway, I saw the thing, I tell you. There's a great big tree in the cemetery. I walked by that tree in the middle of the night and I saw it hit the gravestone nearest the tree. And that gravestone lit up. It pushed the gravestone and the door to the shed opened up by itself. The monster that went into the shed and then closed it behind itself, which was unexpectedly polite for a demon. It was the most terrifying thing these old eyes have ever seen. If you're smart, you'll stay clear of the cemetery in the middle of the night. I know what we're doing finding a lost child I was gonna say go to the cemetery in the middle of the night but oh whatever who knows we might find the kid probably not are so nice. Yeah, they are. So, I don't even know where the cemetery is. Well, I think the first step would be sleeping. to talk to you. time I sang that you'd already gone to bed until night time and every bed in this game seems horrible just the right size for you no room to sprawl out I meant it looked like it was like hard as a rock oh Be 
excuse me? You might have to go out through the top one. Oh, that's the headmaster's room, not the exit. Huh. Interesting. Where's the cemetery? Oh, there. Bottom right. Oh. Okay. What's up, nerd? Uh, yeah, let him do his patrols, man. No. Oh my! Wow. Yeah, you better run. Like a boss. Oh, you're back for more, huh? What the? No. Uh, leave me alone. I don't want any. Pumpkin patch. Ow. Ow. Give me a heart. I need a heart. Heart. No, heart, not rupee. Heart. Heart. Whatever. Cemetery? Check the map for the cemetery? Hmm. You're heading in the right direction. That? Some kind of mechanism. Hit the grave nearest to the tree. And then the sword shed opened up. Like, hit it with a skyward strike. I thought you said roll into it. Well, roll into it. Uh, skyward strike it. I guess I just need to know where the storage shed is. No, that's... That's... I think that door is it. Any kind of hit? <laughs> Looks like it's uh, time. I don't think that's 
that's it. No. Don't want to bother him while he's bathing. Um. Where would the storage should be? I mean, it's probably a door that's locked when that thing isn't glowing. Talk to her? Oh, he's got something. What do you need? What do you need? You want some shopping? Just come back to the shop tomorrow. Oh, man. You're such a buzzkill now. Yeah. He's someone who works in customer service who is at home. Maybe this door? I mean, that's probably another home. How's my pippet doing at school? Why is everything in this house covered in spiderwebs? Leaving already? If you see pippet on patrol, make sure you sit, wave and say hello. I think she was trying to keep us. Yeah. Okay. I think it's... <laughs> I think it's that door. He said what? Brawl? And then they could open the door. Roll into it. Cut. Like, none of the other graves react. Oh, move the grave while it's roll- while it's active. Listen, it wasn't intuitive. More spider webs. Got weird. All right, time to perish. Stop, please, I beg you, don't hurt me. Oh, goodness. I know how bad this must look to you right now, but I assure you, I mean you no harm. We were just playing the Scream as loud as you can game. <laughs> Isn't that a fun game? Oh, dear. Perhaps an explanation is in order. My name is Patru. I am a monster who resides here in the humble dwelling below Skyloft. But please, allow me to correct one popular misconception. While I'm certainly a monster, I wouldn't dream of terrorizing the people of this town. 
You see, this adorable little girl is the only one who didn't let loose a blood-curdling scream at the sight of me. Since she began to visit me here, I've felt positively jubilant. You see, my heart's only wish is to become friends with the lovely people of Skyloft. But, as you can surely imagine, it has proven quite difficult to break the ice when they are struck with paralyzing fear at the mere sight of me. I assure you, nothing would fill my heart with joy more than to be friends with the fine people of this town. But as soon as I try to approach any of them and extend my claw in friendship, they run and scream as though they'd seen a walking nightmare. Oh, right, silly me. I've gotten ahead of myself. You see, there's an old tale among my monstrous kin that goes as follows. It seems that when humans make other humans happy, the happy humans produce a substance known as gratitude crystal. Uh, um, would you like a gratitude crystal, Chris? Gratitude crystals no. are quite amazing. Just looking at them and knowing there was such gratitude in the world could turn me from a monster into a human. Oh, goodness. Nothing would delight me more than to become a human. From the moment I laid my regrettably demonic eyes on you, I could tell you had a gentle and generous heart. Won't you please gather gratitude crystals and show them to me? Sure. Truly, you'll help me. I've heard that you can obtain pure gratitude crystals by helping people solve their troubles. They could also be merely lying about here in Skyloft or elsewhere among the clouds, anywhere you find people. I'm sure someone with a heart as pure and genuine as yours will be able to see them. Please, solve some troubles and gather me all the gratitude crystals you can find. Any help you can provide will be dearly appreciated. I promise your assistance will not go unrewarded. He's not a bad man. He saved me. One time when I almost fell over the edge and he lets me come here and scream as loud as I want. Anyway, he said it was dangerous to go out alone at night, so I'll just hang out here for a while. Tell my mom I'll come home in the morning. What do I look like? Some kind of errand boy? That is literally what we're doing for this. So we need to find my bed. Kukiel's house. We need to tell her mom she'll be home in the morning. Or we could just wait. And she'll show up in the morning. But, home invasion. You know how many homes there are? Hit the map. Zoom in. Does it have their names over the host? Pivots. So we know those three are not the ones we want. And each one we go in, I'm sure, will tell us the name of who uh. lives there. Something's going on here. What is it? Birdie? And your uh, wife? Uh, uh, the missus, she gets tired from running the business all day. I have to tell her to get some rest sometime, right? <laughs> oh. Well, this isn't who we want to talk to. Hey, you want to come babysit the child? For 60 rupees? No. There is a house down here. Yep. What will be inside? Oh no. Oh, no. I know where he lives now. <laughs> he knew he would find out. My eyes foresaw that you would show up. Wait.
here do I have to go? I have no clue. Is she still by this goddess statue? Unless that's her outfit. Breaking into the people's houses. Yep. It's for a good cause. I think. This pompadour. Oh, this is the house. Yay! Oh, you found Kukil? Well, I guess it's good to hear she's at least with a friendly and responsible adult. But I just can't wait to see her. Where's those gratitude crystals? Mm. What? Mr. Pompadour. Are you serious? You found Coquille? What did I tell you? Nobody here in Skyloft would harm a hair on her head. Alright. We did it. We did. We found her. We did. We didn't get any gratitude crystals. None. Well, maybe our viewers will show us some gratitude in the form of subscriptions, comments, and likes. I didn't like where that was going. Where did you think that was going? I was just closing out the episode. I'm not even gonna go into it. All right. Anyway. Anyways. Have a good day, everybody. We'll see you in the next episode. Bye, Bye. friends.